Hi, I'm Jeremy Larkin, and you're watching Ghost St. George TV. You probably recognize that I'm standing today in beautiful Town Square in the heart of the uh, City of St. George Historic District. The water's running. Behind me is the beautiful, historic St. George Tabernacle. What we're talking about today is this amazing fall finish to the weather. It's November 29th, and we probably had 10 days straight of 60-plus degrees in St. George. Matter of fact, I'm looking right here, and it says that we're 67 degrees, according to weather.com. I just printed this off. When you look at the history of St. George, Washington County, it was originally settled by early Mormon pioneers and settlers that Brigham Young had sent south to grow cotton and escape the cold. Well, 150 years later, 150,000 people later, the rest, they say, is history. Those were the very first snowbirds, as we like to call them in St. George, that came to town. And all these years later, we still have people flocking here, people buying real estate, people coming to tournaments and the senior games and the marathon to enjoy this weather. We're headed into winter now. I'm sorry to say it. The good news is winter's about 60 days in St. George, and we probably won't see snow more than one or two days. Now, to have a little fun, by the time you watch this video, we'll be in the middle of a, a cold front that's coming to town. We may not see this temperature again. I've got two fabulous Freddy's car washes for the first Facebook fan who can, of course, hop on our Facebook page and tell me the average temperature for this day, November 29th, in St. George, Utah. Just hop on Facebook.com, search for The Larkin Group, like us, of course, if you haven't, and post the average temperature for November 29th. Thanks for watching Go St. George TV. May your winters be mild, and of course, your summers in St. George be even milder. Over and out.